Hello, we are going to be looking at linear transformations today, specifically this time vertical and horizontal translations. We have a parent function, f of x, the f simply says it's a function, equals 2x plus 1. So my first step, I'm going to graph my parent function. My intercept is 1, so I'm going to come over and move up 1 on the vertical axis. My slope is 2. So it rises 2 and runs 1, rises 2 and runs 1. So I've got a slope of up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1. So I'm going to just really quickly plot a line through these three points. And I'm going to label that f of x. So this is my line f of x. Now, we are going to look at a vertical translation. Translation means we are sliding. And it is in the form of g of x equals f of x plus k. In this case, my g of x will equal my original function f of x, so 2x plus 1. It's my f of x plus 3. K equals 3. That is a vertical movement upward. So my g of x would equal 2x plus 4. And I'm going to go ahead. I'll just make a little note here. I'm plotting g of x in pink. So my intercept is at 4, so I'm going to come up 2, 3, four spaces on my vertical axis, my intercept. And it also has a slope of 2, which is good because we're sliding it. So up 2 over 1. And I am going to be plotting a line parallel to my initial line, parallel to my parent function. This is my g of x. And we can see looking at this, this point goes from 1 to 4. That's a vertical change of 3. This point is at 3, and it moves to 6. So we have simply slid our line up 3. k equals 3, a vertical change of 3 up. So the next thing we're going to look at is our horizontal translation. And that is going to be a slide left or right. So our horizontal translation falls into the form of t of x equals f of x minus h h is, in this case, going to equal negative 3. h refers to the horizontal change. Move that up so it's a little bit easier to see. So my t of x is going to be f of 2 times x minus a negative 3. 2x plus 1. So this would equal f of 2x plus 3 plus 1. So just using our distributive property, the function is 2 times x, so it's 2x plus 6 plus 1. So t of x, so this piece right here is our f of x plus 1. So this function is 2x plus 7. So if I grab that, and this is going to be a horizontal slide, 3 negative. So we're expecting it to move 3 spaces horizontally. 
So I'm going to go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for my intercept. And it still has a slope of two. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to go down two and backwards two. And I am going to go ahead and quickly graph this line. And I'm going to call this one my t of x. Now, I can see that it's crossing here at about half, and at about half, and it should be, okay, so it's a change of three negatives, so one, two, three. So we can see that this is a horizontal change of three. To be really honest with linear functions, it's not as obvious which direction it's moving, whether it's sliding up or sliding backward, because those lines are all going to be parallel, we have to look at our function. So in this case, h equals negative 3. That is a horizontal change of 3 to the left. Thank you.